Well, the unemployment rate improved uh, from 8.4% to 7.9%. So that, that's a, a big positive. The economy gained over 600, 660,000 jobs. But what's interesting is that this is the highest unemployment rate uh, we've had prior to an election since the government has been keeping statistics since 1948. One of the things that we are seeing is that the, the rate of progress is slowing. Not, not only are we seeing fewer job gains, but a lot of the original jobs that were seen as temporary losses are now being classified as permanent. So this is uh, of concern because those jobs aren't coming back. Workers are going to have to find new places uh, to work. Uh, and so the real issue here during this thing is what's the government going to do to drive the stimulus? Because the, the Fed and most economists are saying that without that, we can go back into um, a, a recession if, if we don't take advantage of, of um, a fiscal stimulus at, at this stage. Disney yesterday announced 28,000 layoffs across their theme parks around the country. Their profits were down through the first six months of the year, almost 75% almost exclusively driven by theme parks. On the airline side, American Airlines and, and United yesterday announced a collective 35,000 layoffs. And, and this is because on Wednesday, September the 30th, the last amount of government support stopped that was part of the CARES Act. American Airlines and United both said if there is a stimulus bill passed over the next few days and signed by the president, that they would rescind these, uh, these layoffs and, and the furloughs. But progress on Capitol Hill over the last couple of days has not been very has not been very solid. Additionally, the airline industry through in the United States through uh, the end of the year is expected to lose nearly thirty billion dollars, which is which is why that they're saying, you know, if I have to, we'd like to keep employees, but it's going to be very difficult to do so under the current circumstances.